that's it. These paddles need a home before I cut them up and burn them. You know, paddles are a necessity at the cottage, but when they're not in use, they can be a pain in the derriere or even worse, a hazard. They need to be hung up out of harm's way, but ready for action. There are a lot of paddle rack designs out there, but I'm gonna show you a real simple one. So we're gonna use uh, one by four pine for this paddle rack. This old model I found a number of years ago will serve as a template for us. I'm gonna come in about two inches from the end to start. Each slot, I figure about inch and a quarter. I'm gonna have a three and a half inch gap between each paddle. I'm gonna make this for four paddles. I'm gonna cut this off because it's easier to work with the shorter version. I'm gonna make a mark at the bottom of the slot at about inch and uh, five eighths. And this is gonna be the center for an inch and a half Forstner bit. I'll use a jigsaw to cut these out. Now the trick is, I want the vein and the handle to sit in here. So how do I do that? In the old version, whoever built this used a round file to make a nice slot for the paddle to sit in there. What I'm going to do is commit about an inch and a five eighths, and I'm gonna drill a 9 16 hole with a Forstner bit there. And that'll give me a nice shoulder that skinny part of the paddle handle. Drilling into the second piece of wood to eliminate blowout when the bit passes through. I'm gonna cut the bottom of the slot with an inch and a quarter bit. It's just exactly the same width as the, the slot I marked out on the, uh, on the board. Gotta look a little bit like Mickey Mouse, don't they? Well, we're gonna give him the neck now. We're gonna cut these out with the jigsaw. I'm gonna draw a little profile as well here to make this a little prettier. basically it. You see how well a paddle is going to hang in there. Can't twist out. Comes out of the slot reasonably quickly. Now all I need to do is uh, give this baby a real good sanding. Don't need to do this, but you can rotor an edge to give it a nicer profile. You can see how that pretties it up a lot. Now what we need is a backer board. Mount this to that piece and then we can mount the backer board to the wall. I'm going to uh, rotor the edge of that and sand it as well. I'm going to need to drill some holes through the back so I can screw the uh, paddle rack itself to the backer board. I just want to make sure I'm going into the uh, shallow part, so I'll lay this out so I get the thicker part of the wood. At the same time, I'm going to drill a couple of mounting holes. Three two-inch screws, number eight two-inch screws, and a touch of glue. Okay, let's put her on the wall. better, up out of harm's way, but ready for paddling action. For Cottage Life, this is Wayne Lennox reminding you that a little project goes a long way at the cottage. The idea was to be able to have something that you could put on the truck, take off the truck really easily. I think we accomplished what we uh, set out to do. That's gonna work really well. It's pretty good. It's gonna be much safer.